Hello everyone, I'm Bernard Ma, author of over 20 best-selling books, including Generative AI in Practice. In today's video, we are tackling an increasingly crucial topic in the world of technology, AI bias. As AI systems become more integrated into our lives, understanding and addressing biases in these systems is not just important, it is essential. Let's start with AI-driven recruitment. AI-driven hiring tools are designed to streamline the recruitment process and hopefully making it more efficient. However, there have been instances where these tools have perpetuated gender or racial biases. For example, in an AI system might favor resumes from a particular demographic simply because it was trained on data that reflected past hiring biases. Moving into law enforcement, AI tools are used to predict crime hotspots and potential future offenders. Sounds useful, right? However, if the historical data is biased, these predictions can disproportionately target minority communities, leading to unfair, unfair surveillance and policing practices. In the realm of credit and loans, AI algorithms determine eligibility and rates. Unfortunately, these systems can inherit biases from their training data, which might have encoded historical inequalities in lending practices. As a result, certain groups could face higher rejection rates or unfavorable loan terms. Healthcare is another critical area where AI bias shows up. AI systems help diagnose diseases and manage patient care. But if these systems are trained predominantly with data from one ethnic group, they might be less accurate for people of different backgrounds. This can lead to misdiagnosis and inadequate care, highlighting the life or death stakes of AI biases. Lastly, let's look at advertising. AI algorithms often decide who sees which ads. This can result in certain demographics being systematically excluded from seeing job ads, housing ads or promotions, which perpetuates existing societal inequalities. So what can we do about it? Awareness is the first step. Recognizing these biases allows us to demand better, more inclusive AI training practices. Companies need to prioritize diversity in training data and continuously monitor for biases. By addressing AI bias, we can make these systems fairer and more effective. If you're interested in learning more about AI and the future of technology, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.